What is going on everybody? Thank you for tuning into today's video. So I think it's time that I share with you guys just a little update. I've had way more people watch my videos than I ever thought. I've had so many of you at this point ask me what happened. You know, what's, what's next in my journey? For those of you guys that don't know, basically, I got fired from my first two junior developer jobs. I ended up starting to freelance a little bit. As I started kind of going down that path, I ended up finding a new opportunity that's kind of taken me down a path that's been one, one I wasn't expecting, but one that I'm very grateful for. I think I just, you know, I'm gonna just be straight up I'm not really coding anymore, and I don't really consider myself a developer. And before you guys click away because you think I gave up on coding, that's, that's not necessarily the case. I do want to say that the job I'm working now is a direct result of me going to a coding boot camp. So let me break it down for you guys. I ended up getting fired from my first two junior developer jobs. I spent a lot of time going through imposter syndrome, wondering if coding is for me, that I just waste all this time, all this money, go into a coding boot camp. It was really hard and it was really frustrating. I didn't want to just take everything I learned and completely throw it down the toilet. There's, there's a lot of people from my class that did that. Believe me, there's a lot of people that ha haven't touched code since. I didn't want that to be me. And so I just, I wanted to start working with the things that I, I knew how to do. One of the things that I really kind of fell in love with going through my coding boot camp was working on front end design. I actually, let me kind of take that back. When I first was going through my coding boot camp, I hated it. Everything I built was so ugly and it just, it didn't look good. But I was spending more time at the boot camp trying to understand the more technical languages. We learned all the fundamentals at the coding boot camp, but the whole time I just knew all of these websites I'm building are so ugly. So one day I just decided, you know, I, I really want to jump into my front end work. I really want to start making my websites look better. As I started to go down that path, I started to pick things up a lot better and I started to really learn a thing or two about what makes a good website. Started to learn more about SEO and how to optimize websites. These were all just kind of things that I was picking up on my own. And I had an old friend reach out to me and was like, hey, I have some work I think you might be interested in. So I ended up chatting with him. He runs a marketing agency where they do lead generation. He's got a whole bunch of clients and essentially in a nutshell, we take people from the internet, from Facebook or social media, people from Google, wherever, and we funnel them to our website and we turn them into leads. This is something that he's been doing. He's had a lot of success with it. He hit me up and was like, hey, you know, do you wanna come, do you wanna come work with us? If you guys know me, if you guys have seen my other videos, you guys know that I'm, I'm a very spontaneous person. After chatting up with him a little bit more, it just, you know, it, it seemed like a good idea, something that I'm, I'm willing to jump into and, and give it a shot. So now, I don't really code anymore, and I'm gonna admit, I have some mixed feelings on not coding anymore. I spent a lot of time, a lot of money, learning how to code, learning how to program. The thing is, I just, I wasn't really good at it. And I'm, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna beat myself up over it because programming is hard. It really is, especially for someone that's never really been into computers before. But it was worth it and I'm glad that I learned how to do it. I feel like I, I wasn't a very good developer and yeah, I probably gave up a little bit too soon. But here at this job, my coding skills are, they feel, let me put it this way. At my developer job, I felt like an idiot. At this job, we're not doing things, nothing that we're doing is super advanced, and so anything that's coding related, I pretty much know how to do. And so my coding knowledge is quite extensive in this field. I've been a huge help for a lot of the people on the team. I'll admit there, there have been some things that I haven't been able to figure out myself, but having a background in code has allowed me to just think through the problems a little bit more, and, and I'm, I'm better equipped at coming up with the right solution. Now, I'm curious what you guys think. I'm curious if any of you guys went to a coding boot camp and ended up getting another job that isn't a programming job. I have a handful of friends that are kind of in like the same general field. I have a friend that ended up, uh, someone who was in my class, he's, he's in QA now. 
He's had the same job for the last two years. He said it's not hard, he makes good money, and it's super chill, you know? He really kinda has no desire to be a programmer. He loves doing QA. He says his job is super chill and he's totally fine with doing that. I have another friend who ended up going to do cybersecurity work. He got an intern right after the boot camp doing cybersecurity, which is something we definitely didn't learn under the coding boot camp. Yes, I do kind of wish I was a programmer. I realize that a senior engineer is probably making way more money than I'm making. But at the same time, like, that's, yeah, like, you know, I'd love to be making huge money. But at the same time, like, that's really not what it's about. I, I love my job, I love what I'm doing, I love being able to work on websites. Even though I'm not coding them, we are using WordPress and Webflow and Shopify. They are all these like website builders. But the thing is, I, I tried using Shopify a couple years ago, and maybe I should share that story with you guys one day, it's pretty funny. After a coding boot camp, I just am so much smarter when it comes to using these website builders. And things that seem so straightforward to me, sometimes I forget that your average person doesn't know that. They don't understand the ins and outs of a website. So I'm feeling very, very grateful that I went through a coding boot camp. And although I'm not a programmer anymore, I'm really not upset about it. The thing is, I've actually been thinking about this. I don't code a whole bunch anymore. Normally when I do, it's just kind of on the side. Or I honestly feel like I could go get a junior developer job now and actually do okay at it. Before I was terrified. I had so much imposter syndrome, I was terrified to get a job. Now I have a job where I'm not even coding that often. But every time I jump back into my old lessons, everything I learned, everything is just, I just pick it up so much more. And honestly, like all that is, it's just come with time. So if you guys are fresh out of a coding boot camp, if you guys are just going to a coding boot camp, you guys are going through it right now, you guys are struggling, I promise you just give it time and don't give up on it. I told you, I said at the beginning of the video, there's a lot of people from my class that never touched code again. I promise you they're probably not in the same boat. I guarantee you that there's no way that they'd be able to apply for a junior dev job and feel confident in that. For me, I feel way more confident in my coding skills than I've ever had before. I will say, obviously I'm not, I'm not that great at it but I'm, I'm okay. Anything I need to get done, I can generally figure out. So that is, that's really kind of all I had to say. I just really wanted to update you guys on my story. I'm surprised at how many subscribers I'm getting, how many of you guys are commenting, liking my videos. I've had a lot of you guys reach out to me and ask me questions. And I just want you guys to know that I, I appreciate it. I really do appreciate you guys. So thank you guys for watching my video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.